states around us seem to be expanding legalized gambling to get to that revenue. And if we're going to keep up with the other states, we're going to have to find a way to expand gaming. So I had some issues with gaming um, that I, I, I wasn't necessarily happy on what uh, some of the ideas were, but I felt too that we needed to compete with other states and on balance. I prefer the money that we send down to Atlantic City in those buses, and that I've been known myself to make some investments and deposits down there in the casinos. I prefer them to stay here in Pennsylvania and Philadelphia. So I voted to support gaming. Uh, then, but one of the things I said is it's going to have to be, we have to make sure this is as ethical as possible. We should be the standard for good ethics in gaming, because it, there's a lot of risk to bad influences coming in with gaming. Then we expanded uh, to table games. We're going to have table games. And uh, who would have thought that uh, Philadelphia would be the last people to get our gaming sites up? We still haven't been able to get our casinos up and running. We've had one problem after another. And one of the, uh, the problems was with the casino license was the Foxwoods Casino on the river. Could not get their act together. They kept saying they need more time, they need more time, they need more time. And I was one of the guys who fought last session in Harrisburg. I said, you've had enough time. Get the casino up and running and give someone else a chance. And we'll get you in. Um, so I fought against them getting an extension. Then uh, they said, we need an extension because uh, we want to bring Steve Wynn in. Because Steve Wynn is the, the super casino guy. Um, whether they get that extension or not is still up in the air. Um, but Steve Wynn is not coming in. My view is